This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. World Championship silver medalist in the women's 400 meters, Shawnee Miller, paying a visit to Eleuthera today. Our Charles Fisher was along for the ride. After touching down here in South Eleuthera, the Golden Girl first stop is here at the Tapham Bay Primary School. Miller telling the 141 student body to never give up and don't let anyone tell them they can't do anything they set out to achieve. The highlight came when students were allowed to touch and wear the silver medal won in Beijing, China. Grade 6 students Joel Gibson and Amaya Johnson. I really want to be here someday and I really want to achieve that goal of getting a gold medal in Beijing. I feel exciting and I got to be the person. The second stop was at the Rock Sound Primary where once again Shawnee mixed with the students signing autographs. Green Castle also on the tour stop, Wimsy's Bite and Deep Creek. And like all the stops, the students excited to be in the same air as Shawnee. Final stop was Preston Albury High School, where the saying was, save the best for last. I've heard about her so many times on the TV, I was related to meet her mm -hmm. in person. She came here to encourage the students and not ma many people to go back to their roots and stuff, so that was very exciting. <laughs> it's a great encouragement towards our us pursuing our dreams as athletes and going forward on the track. For Shawnee, it was a day well spent. It was amazing, you know, just coming back and being able to speak to the kids and on the islands too, you know, I think that, you know, the ones in the islands, they need the most support, you know, and I think that we have so much talent here in, in, in the islands and, you know, it'd be good if the government can, can, can send a little bit more help to, to help and support them down here. What a fitting way to end the tour right here at the Preston Aubrey High School in South Lutra. For ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. The weigh-ins for the 2015 Central American and Caribbean Bodybuilding and Fitness Championships taking place today at the Atlantis Resort. Three of the competitors taking part in the men's physique will be in Derek Ramming of the Bahamas, Javier De Jesus of Puerto Rico, and Bernardo Pucu of Bermuda. I'm expecting to go out and do well for my country. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to say, but I'm going to step out and do my best and give my all. I've been pushing myself in terms of trying to look more full, working on my stage present, cause working on my smile, just trying to tie in all loose ends, dot my eyes and cross my tears. I'm very happy, very anxious. I, this is my first time on a Central American competition, so I'm, I'm in my best shape of my life. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, I have been competing this year six times and I always in the top three. So I think I think I'm going to do I'm going to do good. Everyone's going to be looking good. Everyone's going to be working the hardest for a good number of months now. Um, so coming from Bermuda, it'll be a good time to just meet everyone, meet new people and see what our best our best selves on the stage. Now we also had a chance to catch up with CAC General Secretary Sheldon Sabaran and he too is looking forward to the next couple of days. We are seeing a trend where a lot of the athletes are now doing the new men's physique and bikini. We've had 20 countries already registered and we in this morning members from Colombia, Curacao, Aruba also weighed in, Trinidad weighed in, so all the big guns are here. So it's going to be a very big show with over 250 athletes. The pre-judging is tomorrow. What are you expecting from that? Oh, um, very tough show because uh, in some categories there are over 15 competitors. To bring it down to make the final six to come back on Saturday. So it's going to be very tough. Most people are national champions in their own country. And to be a national champion, to try to be the top six in your region is very difficult. What do you think about the venue here? Oh, it's, it's a nice venue. It's nice and spacious. The, the main room is, the main ballroom is really large and we expect to have a good show. We just were working on the logistics to see where everything is going to be placed. So, it's looking good. The pre-judging for the CACs will start 2 p.m. tomorrow in the Imperial Ballroom. From there, the finals, they begin 2 p.m. on Saturday and fans are asked to come out and show their support. It is around town and it's big. Um, everything is epic right now that uh, this is the one you, you have, you can't miss this one, this is the one you have to be to. Um, we have countries right now, I think we have a confirmation of some 24 countries um, and I think we allow, they allow this year that one or two countries can uh, even register late so I think maybe at the end of the day we can see 30 countries coming on our shorelines to, 
to grace our stage and um, bring the best of uh, the best in the Caribbean and Central America. At least one business is taking advantage of the CAC championships. Proprietor of the Bahamian Dream Sports and Lifestyle Nutrition, Andretti Bain, says he will be there from start to finish. I'm going to meet and greet with as many persons as I can, um, hand out some discount cards, um, you know, hand out some flyers, take it from there. For me right now, I'm focusing on, you know, our local athletes, um, not just the athletes, to be honest, just persons in general. And that's one of the things that the company stands for. Um, we don't want the general population to feel excluded from what it is that we offer. You know, we provide um, proactive nutrition for the entire Bahamas, you know, so fans who are coming in just to watch, the athletes, whoever, we're just here just to kind of get the word out there to continue spreading our message that the Bahamian Dream of Sports and Lifestyle Nutrition is all about promoting the healthier Bahamas. The Roxanne Regatta will take place this weekend in South Eleuthera. Buzzy Roll and David Roll are two of the skippers looking to make some noise. We're going to take the red down and rocks down and, uh, you know, we're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to put up a great show there too. 12 C-class boats, you ready for the competition? You bet. I have nothing to worry about. Either dream girl or nothing. I'm just waiting on one man. That's Dr. McPhee, Dr. Phil Monk. Because Dr. McPhee tricked me this morning in Roxanne. I'm going to do it for him. I'm going to beat him so bad. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.